good afternoon. This pre-purchase video inspection is being shot for a client who is considering purchasing this car. If you're watching it and you're not the guy that hired me, then uh, you're watching it much later than what he's uh, receiving it. If you're interested in service like this, uh, this is my commercial. Call us 800-301-3886. Auto appraise. So what we have is an XP29, oops, let me look at it right, XP29H code car. Originally Dodge Charger, not an RT, but set up nicely with an RT Bumblebee stripe. Aftermarket 15 inch magnums are in great shape. Tires are like new, a couple hundred miles maybe. 528 Hemi transplant is very sweet and very, very clean. I've taken uh, more photos than the owner wants to look through, but uh, had to look everything over and kind of absorb it that way. So. There's not much to uh, deny as far as the looks go on the underbody of uh, the underhood compartment. This was originally a factory AC car and the AC has been deleted. Uh, question is, could you put AC back in the car? Um, probably here to here, I just had a tape measurement of it and we got about nine and a half inches from stud to valve cover. I'm sure this alternator could be dropped down or we could possibly find bracketry to put a small sand and air compressor in down there and put air conditioning on it. But the gap there is about 10 inches of clearance from the front of the head to the uh, back edge of the core support or call it nine with, this, uh, with these threads sticking out. So that's what we've got for gapage there. Let's start really quickly with the trim. The headlight buckets are in nice shape and the grill bezel is in nice shape. Just a little bit of uh, uh, color touch up and fade. These were probably, you know, resprayed. Um, slight subtle marks in the uh, chrome, a few small marks in the closeout area of the bumper. But they look nice and we'll fire them up once we get the car uh, running. I had to put a booster pack on it because I've had the doors open for over a couple hours, but the engine's nice and cold. I got a short video of it on a uh, cold startup. The block is water pumps 80, 85, and uh, valve cover is 91, and the ground is 93, and the car is 96. So anyway, it's a cold start for sure. Video's gonna keep running. Uh, core support's in nice, clean shape, and we've got photos of a VIN that matches here along the core support. VIN is correct and matched on the fender tag to the dash placard. Um, I did my best to try and peel up this rubber seal, but it is glued down substantially. And I'm unable to access the rear body number here, but much has been changed left the trunk open. This quarter panel's definitely been uh, changed, and I believe this one has as well. There's no sound deadener on the insides of either one of these. The quarter panel tabs are present. I will show you from underneath the vehicle shortly. We've already talked about the front uh, grille and the front bumper, which is very nice. The rear bumper is very nice. The rear tail light bezel is in pretty good shape little bit of uh, pitting and deterioration along the, uh, the plastic chrome wrap and a little bit of black dot pitting on the, uh, the bezels. The trim on the car really is in fantastic shape. The only pitting really seen, uh, which I would call black dot pitting, not really pitting. It's more of a patina on the vent window frames, similar on both sides. The vinyl top is in great shape.
antifreeze is uh, full in green, transmission fluid full in pink. And oil, it's got the purple uh, purple racing oil, break-in oil in it. The engine doesn't look like it has uh, really any miles based on the limited amount of uh, stone splash on the quarters and on the backs of the fender dog legs. I don't think the car has been driven more than the 185 miles showing on the odometer. See, I've got my magnets up. Grab the digital paint meter here. Both the courtesy lights are working, by the way, and the dome light as well. So, this is our exploded view 69 Dodge Charger. We've got a couple hairline cracks in the hood, in the uh, faux scoop area small quarter inch uh, chip here on the inside hood edge so these small cracks these x represents that represent those cracks a little bit of compound here underneath the uh, compound underneath the vinyl top ending here maybe some glue that could probably be cleaned up you can kind of see it with the door closed um, the door is open and closed pretty nicely this passenger door protrudes uh, sets outside the quarter panel just slightly more than the driver's door and then there's a few more chips on this side than there is on the other. Uh, this video can be stopped freeze frame on these comments so you can uh, comprehend them. Uh, ignore that I brought the pickup truck version of an exploded view today. Small chip in the valance. Now that being said, this looks kind of horrible, doesn't it? But really the car looks really good. Uh, the Probably the biggest chips on the car are in the jam. You can see that Q5 original turquoise color in a few various spots. Four in this jam. The door corners are very nice and the door jams are very nice. Car was really taken apart and done well. Lots of new sheet metal. And it has been blocked flat and it is very, very straight. The digital paint meter readings, I took photos all down one side of the readings and the other side I did without taking photos just to eliminate a multitude of photos. door lines are pretty nice. That's as tight as the door is going to close on the passenger side. So there's a little contact chip right here that shows. Maybe somebody's monkeyed with it a little bit trying to get it in. Uh, magnetic adhesion is good throughout. Over The rocker panel overlap seam down here has been filled in so you can't see it from the bottom anymore like you can on original cars. Trunk band's been changed. Um, you can see the welds on the bottoms of the rails coming up through to the new pan, and it looks very nice. Uh, no spare, no jack, no mat. Wiring harness has been replaced uh, with no um, lights going to the side marker lights, so those aren't gonna work. Trunk jam was done very, very nice. And the lip of the, I'll try to show you without getting into the sun, but the lip is in very good shape. A little bit of sealer up there. But the jams present really nice. Back side of the deck lid has a great sheen to it. A few small little dings in this original trim. Nothing too bad. As far as the fitment of the deck lid to the car, Mopars didn't fit all that good, right? So this line's a little tight, and the deck lid sits up just a skosh on this side. Got a small contact chip right there that we pointed out in the exploded view. This side's a little more flush. This uh, bezel's a little loose, it needs to be tightened up. So right there is probably the biggest, you know, anomaly on the body. To adjust that door in a little bit. Um, 
I think the only way to have remedied that would be to, you know, bring this quarter out a little bit. Maybe that door could come in a little more. Hard to say. This side, we have a small contact chip here. Uh, but it's markedly better. Nice lines. Super straight. Somebody probably put 500 hours into block sanding this black. It's very straight and clean and nice. They only missed one little tiny, tiny uh, nickel or quarter size ding there. And you probably can't see it other than the reflection in the gravel. It kind of waves straight here. There might have been a small sag in the paint that somebody cut down and blocked out. It's really, really almost not even worth talking about because it's really hard to see. So a little bit of casual uh, paint shrinkage. Um, just a couple spots where a little bit of aqua, Let's see if I can get that cleared up, a little bit of aqua is showing. Small hairline crack here, and a small tape line edge here. And a small hairline crack. Oh, where did it go? Here it is. Right here. It's right there on the hood. Ground disconnect on the battery is uh, currently set up, so we're going to fire it up and then someone from inside is going to come out and uh, drive it around or let me drive it around. Again, still photos available for the purchaser and he's going to be looking at the digital paint readings. Killing some time right now, like a public TV commercial. All right, so 37. We'll get a few quick readings here. 35. Down by the magnets. 35. 35. 35. 28. You get the idea, 36, uh, 36.8. So we pretty much had 42, had this all the way around the car, 56. We usually don't get any adhesion down here, 58. This is the overlap seam that sometimes gets filled in. Oh well, there you go. Right above it, 34. Tire splash, 34, 33. And again, the other side tests out basically the same. There was a little bit of filler, 28 to 32. A little bit of filler noted up high where they blocked out this door and probably leveled it. This would not be the, the place you would find uh, rust up high in the door. So maybe there was a dent worked out, 53, 49 on the driver's door. So right in here, there was some repair work or blocking that's a bit more um, thick than standard. But magnets would stick to all of this that I'm showing you. Questionable areas. So is it a Bondo buggy? No, it's not. It is not. That'll be easy to see when we get underneath it. So some paint flaws, pretty good straight body, line that door. Lower valance is in good shape. Inner structure, 
die holes in the rails both sides look like this. Bottom of the core support is in pretty good shape. A couple little ripples here and there, but nothing, nothing too horrible. K members in good shape. It was probably pulled out and repainted. A little bit of oil seepage coming down from above. Hard to tell exactly where it's coming from because I don't think this car has many miles on it. Suspension's all stock rebuild and everything looks great. The disc brake backing plates are in very nice shape. Spindles all repainted. Ball joints new. This is a 727 uh, Torque Flight Tranny. Uh, new starter as well. The, the Tranny does not have um, a VIN number on it that matches this vehicle. It doesn't have a VIN number on it at all, so it's probably you know, an aftermarket built tranny, which is kind of what the description led us to believe. Capable of handling a thousand horsepower. Nice dual exhaust with a cross pipe, two and a half inch into Flowmasters. Plenty of uh, visible uh, spot welds all along the rails. Back sides of the uh, inner structure were all painted. Insides of the fenders uh, came stock primer black and there's stickers to show that they've been replaced. So those weren't painted body color, but they're black. Just a few small spots where still a little bit of, a bit of the Q5 turquoise showing its self. Not much. That spot and another screw could be easily cleaned up. And a couple other small areas down in here in the hood jam. Let me straighten out the video there. That could be touched up as well. But a little evidence of the turquoise still on the car. Gas tank's in great shape. It was changed. And down here where it counts, they did nice body work. Blocked it out. A little bit of dry spray on both rockers right here. Just a little bit of a area that could have been sanded down a bit more. Floors were painted with a texture, texturized paint. Rails were sprayed with a rubberized, a little thicker than what's on the floors. But the floors are very clean throughout. No real issues or concerns. Up here in the pockets, that looks very nice. So the quality of bodywork that was done was done very, very nicely. You can see these tires are in great shape. Eight and three quarter looks like it was all redone. It's reported to have been all rebuilt. The springs and perches are in good shape. And the wheel lips uh, look real nice. As far as reflection goes, I'm about two feet from the car. And uh, again, the paint, uh, hard to give us some focus here because it's picking up on my reflection. There's a small chip in that sticker, but it's very nice. People would compliment you if you were driving it. Non-factory welds along here. Quarter panel's been changed. We got one tab still present. It's aqua blue, so I'd touch it up. Frame rails, die holes, they look great all the way back. No evidence of a major collision or anything like that. Trunk extensions along here, they look nice. And I'm, you're upside down, I'm sure, right now, but these inner quarter panel splashes were all replaced. It looks like this wheel tub might have been changed as well. Plenty of new sheet metal. Uh, rear end axle housing, eight and three quarter, does not look like it's leaking. Backing plates restored, new shocks, uh, correct chrome tips. Gas tank, as I said, looks great. Fuel lines, brake lines appear to have all been changed. Uh, no negative comments on the wheels or tires. Quick look here at this quarter panel splash. And you can see, again, what I'm talking about. So, we'll get it down off the jack. 
take it for a ride. Also to mention the, the rear windows have had power switches installed. They're power windows, I haven't got them to go up yet. The side glass uh, rolls up and down nicely. It's in pretty decent shape. There's some hairline um, vertical scratching going on in the driver's door window. Not really much per se. Passenger window. Let's see if that jump box helped me out. Electric fuel pump clock has been rebuilt showing 157 miles. That's the temp gauge we're going to be relying on. Uh, the wipers are disconnected under the hood. Those aren't set up. The uh, wipers are two-speed and those work, but those squirters, I mean, are, are not operable. Radio is in op. Ashtray's been repainted. Glove box and console both open, close, and latch as they should. A little bit of paint chipping bubbling in that, uh, in that surface. Wood grain showing nicely. Padded steering wheel. Probably the most wear in the whole interior is a little more turquoise chipping showing up. Uh, probably the most wear in the interior would be the door panels, the uppers. A couple small cracks here and a screw was through here one time. And uh, you can just see a little bit of edge wear has happening on both sides. Door corners, if I didn't show you both of them. That's the both of them. Some scratching up here on the top of the column. The carpet's been changed according to the description of the car. Pedal rubbers have been changed. A little bit of peeling here. And again, there's been some wiring updates. These vinyl seat covers are in uh, pretty decent shape. A little bit of general wear. Both seats move forward and backwards. The adjuster is missing on this side. So a little bit of general wear. Vinyl on the back is nice. Package tray nice. Headliner nice. Visor is nice. That's my signal to get my uh, guy who's going to help me drive out here.
power brakes. Reverse valve body set up on the tranny. 